Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a Disney recipe and the recipe is the Cheshire, Cheshire, I sound like Jim Carrey. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen because I have a hard time saying this word. Cheshire, Cheshire, yeah. <laughs> Cheshire cattails. There I go. It's probably because I've never been a fan of Alice in the Wonderland. <laughs> Not that I actually ever did sit down and watch it completely. I remember something about it when I was in school and just something about that whole weird, all those weird characters to me. I don't know, to me it scared the bejesus out of me. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to the recipe. So it's really simple. You're just gonna need puff pastry um let me see did i throw the box away i thought i had it around oh here okay puff pastry sheets vanilla pudding one cup of chocolate chips editing joanne here not chips, pink or some, purple dye uh, icing <laughs> purple icing and pink dye which I don't have, but I'm gonna try to come up on my own. So anyway, I already rolled out the, the, the pastry um, puff um, because you needed to have it at room temperature for 45 minutes before working with it. I guess that's probably if it was frozen, right? Yeah. Um, yes. If you had your uh, puff pastry in the freezer, that's my stove. <laughs> Um, you would need to defrost it uh, room temperature 45 minutes. Okay, let's get to the recipe. I'm going to swing this around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the stove is now on, it's not the stove, the oven is being preheated to 350 degrees. The first thing we're going to do is put the pudding filling and the chocolate chips on the pastry um, puff sheets. Now, I went ahead and just purchased pre-made vanilla pudding because um, the recipe that is in the book and that I will link below does um, show you how to use uh, how to make it with the instant vanilla pudding but I had that on hand so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to move this over. Let's get this over here. So first step is going to be um, unfold both of the sheets which I already did and we're going to spread, spread a very thin layer of the vanilla pudding onto each sheet of pastry okay so i do i do have more pudding if i need it but it's a thin thin layer so i first i was going to use chocolate pudding because that's the instant pudding that i actually had on hand but then i said you know what why can't i just use this <laughs> So that is what we're doing for the Cheshire cattails. <laughs> Jim Carrey, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, just something about that reminds me of Jim. Oh boy. Okay. Now it's on both, right? Both? Yes. Okay, so we'll do this side. So, like many of the other Disney snacks, I've never had this one in person, but from what I understand, it is delicious and a favorite. <laughs> so, if I ever get back there, <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna have a lot of things to taste and compare to how I made them, <laughs> which I'm sure they'll be, be better at Disney. I would really like to go. I was looking at pictures yesterday. I even posted, um, you know, that I was missing the magic over on Instagram because it's, it's been, what, 20, 20, uh, three years since our last um, trip there. Ignore my phone. <laughs> oh, never had that happen before. Not that that many people call on the landline anymore. Okay. All right, so that is that. Now we're going to go ahead and add um, 
on one layer, one, I'm sorry, lay on one of the uh, pastry um, sheets is put the mini chocolate chips along the pastry. Oh, man, I mean, I'm not speaking the English today. It's Friday, and next week this time, we will be driving to Florida. My mother-in-law lives in South Florida, about, I guess about 30 minutes from south of Miami. She's actually a little bit closer, more closer, I should say, to the start of the Keys. And um, she lives in a beautiful complex that has a really big, huge pool that my kids love. And I like it too. I've been, we've been going there even before we had the boys <laughs> uh, to use the pool ourselves, you know, because I'm a big swimmer. <laughs> and if you know me, you know I'm not. Okay. I don't know. I know. I always say the more chocolate, the better, but I don't want to overfill it, I guess. Okay, this looks good. I'm just trying to get in the empty spots. Is that all these? All right, I'll add them. I'll add them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so by this time next week, we'll probably be on our 25th stop. <laughs> no, actually, we're not too bad. It's usually me. I'm the one that holds everybody up. You need to use the restroom, but hopefully... Hopefully, we'll get there safely and uh, quickly. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to take carefully lay the other sheet putting side down onto the one with the mini chocolate chips. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Can I do it just like this? Oh my goodness, I can't, Julian. You are a rock star today. Okay. Okay, now what? <sighs> Doesn't say anything. Carefully cut stuff. Okay, but should I squeeze these in? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. I'm just going to pinch it along the sides. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to carefully Cut the stacked pastry into six long strips, holding a strip in your hand and twisting one end, and lay on a prepared sheet, which I have over there. Can I move this? <clears throat> no, of course not. How about I just move it down? All right, let me get a knife. Wait, first I have to try it off. Yeah. Putting all on now. Okay. So. Uh, cut into six long strips, holding a strip in your hand. Okay, um, just trying to figure out which way should I cut. I'm going to do it this way. Here we go, people. <laughs> Are they supposed to be this long? Again, let me look at a picture. Let me look at it. According to the picture, the way that I'm doing it now will work. Okay. So that's one. Two. This will be three and four. Oh, that one's a little thin. Okay, Joanne. <laughs> not even even oh my god redo okay i kind of fixed that last one <laughs> i don't know uh, okay so now we have to twist them but i just want to make sure that Now it says to twist, but see how I feel like the sides need to be pinched down. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Okay, I want to do it this way. Wow, 
Wow, this was supposed to be an easy recipe, right? I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right, so it says twist. See, this is what I mean. I knew that this was gonna happen. I'm gonna twist it as best as I can. <laughs> Twisted. There we go. One. Boom. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hate that noise. <laughs> okay. See a chocolate chip coming out there. I don't know. I hope they just seal together. doing this right all right I'm gonna speed this up because obviously this is gonna take my concentration look see this is what I mean I'm gonna pinch these together and I'm gonna speed this up for you guys Okay, my friends this is it I think I think it just maybe I had too many chocolate chips in here I don't know it said a cup I I did what it said on the instruction so I don't know um, but the first one it looks the worst <laughs> okay so we have to put these into the oven correct oh no first we're gonna um, put an egg wash over um, the pastry puffs on me. So, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. And get water. How much water do I need to put in here? One tablespoon of one more water. Okay. One more Room temperature. Well, it's not going to be room temperature. Okay, where is my measuring? Okay, water. Okay, now, now we're going to brush it onto the um, over the tops of the pastry. So actually, it's this isn't a hard recipe. It's just uh, it's just me. <laughs> so, like I was saying, I would really like to go back to Disney. Um, it's just for us. Now it does take a little bit of saving um, to get all of us there. I don't know if my whole family would want to go again. I'm sure my sister would and her husband. I don't know if we would do the whole thing over again like we did the whole family trip again. I don't know. Although we had a great time so I I don't think it would be anything other than just try and get us all together at the same time again. Okay, these look good. Okay, so now these are going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. And then we're going to cool, let them cool so we can go ahead and ice them. So let's get this in the oven. Okay, they are done and they look really good, I have to say. Not bad, considering the twisting was a little difficult. But not bad at all. Okay, so you see a little bit more of the chocolate chips. <laughs> but I think they came out good. So now what we're gonna do is drizzle the purple and the pink um, icing over, over them. Okay, let me try do this without making too much of a mess. Now, this purple is so dark that you don't 
don't even, it doesn't even look like purple, does it? I should have maybe mixed a little bit more. Mm. I don't know how, it doesn't look like, online it didn't look like they were, <coughs> excuse me, um, the lines were too thick. See what we could do here. Come on. Not bad. But I can see why people would like these because they smell delicious. Ah. Okay, Joanne, you made a mess. <laughs> but Either I get too much or I don't get enough. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do the pink. I don't know what it's said. Be too thick. I probably would have preferred it without any icing on it, but <laughs> that's how they make them. That's how they make them. The pink color was easy to make. I just took the icing and then I added very small amounts of red food dye. I think they came out cute. Okay, guys, this is it. The Cheshire Cattails. Not bad, not bad at all. They smell really good. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be gone quickly um, if my boys have anything to do <laughs> with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the bell so you know when I make my next recipe, Disney recipe maybe, um, what's for dinner anything <laughs> i really appreciate you taking the time to um, watch my video thank you so much for your support and i'll see you next week